Hey, does the idea of bright, silky skin with healthy glow interest you? How could it not? You may already know that exfoliation is one of the most important steps in a skincare routine, but did you even know that there is a right way to exfoliate? If not, you could be doing more harm than good. Well, that's why in today's video we're talking about the different types of exfoliation what is best for your own unique skin type and of course how to exfoliate your skin the right way hi i'm Yulene mertens from beauty by code and i am here to help you find the code behind your skin so welcome to my channel so skincare lovers will often tell you that exfoliating is essential for achieving clear radiant skin and they're not wrong Exfoliating helps you remove, you know, the top layer of dead skin cells from your body. It will also help you unclog your pores, speed up the renewal process and improve your circulation. As a result, cells entering the top layer of your skin after exfoliating uh, come with, a mo with more moisture and with a natural glow. Plus, your skin can better absorb any uh, moisturizers and serums that you're going to use. And by getting rid of the, de the dead skin cells, you can also, you know, use better your razor blade and you are going to improve your shaving experience. So exfoliating, it's a win-win-win. But hey, did you know that there are two types of exfoliation? Chemical and physical. It, this is also known as uh, mechanical or uh, manual exfoliation. Physical and chemical exfoliants share the same goals, to leave your skin smoother and brighter by cleaning dead skin cells and boosting um, cell turnover. But here's the thing, they go about reaching those goals in different ways and your skin type will 100% determine what method you use and how frequently. Physical exfoliants work manually by getting rid of dead skin, um, dead skin cells with an abrasive action, right? You can use a physical tool or a product. Some of the most common types of physical exfoliants include, um, you know, body brushes, um, the gloves, the, with, um, the washcloths, uh, you can use a scrub, you can use uh, grains, beads, and you can use sea salt or even sugar. All these tend to be a great exfoliant for your legs. But you know what? Take care not to use products with uh, microbeads because some of them aren't biodegradable and they create a ton of plastic waste in the ocean, okay? Um, so go for products that are environmentally friendly that will have maybe um, jojoba beads. In fact, let me tell you, one of the costliest yet apparently effective exfoliant is using pearl powder. You know, they crush the oyster uh, shell that, is, that looks very rough and they, then you can exfoliate your skin. This unparalleled method comes right from China, where many people rely on this product to maintain beautiful, clear and youthful skin. And it's used basically also for uh, you know, your legs and your face, and apparently it has a lot of um, brightening, it has like a brightening effect. Never tried, but it sounds good. Okay, now, what are the advantages of physical exfoliation? Well, of course, it helps remove dead skin cells, revealing the fresh, radiant skin that you have underneath, and helping unclog also your pores and clear away any debris that may be trapped in your pores. In addition, exfoliating can boost your circulation and promote cell turnover. Now, oily skin types can benefit from this method of exfoliation as is, um, you know, we often have more, I would say, like thicker skin and we can, uh, you know, withstand, withstand more like, um, you know, the physical exfoliator, but you have to be careful, right? Like you don't want to tear your top layer of the skin because that could cause you breakout. On the other side, you know, if you have dry skin, 
Well, you know, opt for a gentle manual exfoliation technique. I will say go for a very soft washcloth uh, or glove. And, uh, or you can use also like a, a brush, but with very soft and natural uh, bristles. On the downside, yes, on the downside, physical exfoliation can sometimes be too abrasive for sensitive skin and that can cause, you know, like redness and irritation. So I will say that you have to avoid, you know, like scrubbing too much and, you know, I will tend to go towards a chemical exfoliator. I mean, honestly, I think it's better, especially when exfoliating your face. I think like for your, um, our legs, a mechanical exfoliation, it's okay, but I don't know, for our face, I don't like it very much. Now, don't let the word chemical fool you. Chemical exfoliants can be very gentle, yes? And you can use them in a variety of skin types, even if you have sensitive skin. By the way, I have um, combination skin and I never use a mechanical exfoliant on my face. Always chemical. I mean, chemical exfoliants use acids or enzymes to break down and dissolve the bonds between your dead skin cells. And this allows for much deeper level of exfoliation, exfoliation as the top layer of the, um, you know, your cells can shed easily. In terms of benefits, there are quite a few for the chemical exfoliants. I mean, starting with improving the overall appearance of your skin. Chemical exfoliation can brighten your complexion, can reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and can also help you to, you know, like even out the, your, your skin tone and will also help you reduce the appearance of dark spots in hyperpigmentation. I mean, I love using acids on my face and exfoliating with acids. For your pins, mechanical. For your, um, your face, chemical. If you have dry skin, well, avoid using harsh chemical exfoliants as, you know, they can strip away your natural oils and have your skin feeling, you know, um, raw or too sensitive and a lot of redness. So uh, go for AHAs such as um, glycolic acid because, you know, will, it will exfoliate but it's very gentle. If you have, on the other side, oily, acne-prone, or even combination skin, you can go for uh, BHAs, where the main ingredient is, of course, salicylic acid, and it's going to do wonders for your skin. Listen, BHAs really penetrate the skin layers and quickly get to work targeting and breaking down excess sebum and clogged pores, uh, enlarged pores. They are amazing. Okay, and they will minimize the risk or your chances of uh, having breakouts in the future. So if you have oily or combination skin, people rave about Paula's Choice uh, Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. It also has a tea extract. I personally find it too sticky, you know, it has this texture that, um, you know, if I, if, if I put it on my face, I feel it, so I use it on my legs. For a more lightweight formulation that also has 2% salicylic acid, I really like pharmacy. Uh, you really don't feel any um, stickiness afterwards. So give it a try and let me know in the comments below. Of course, there are some potential drawbacks to chemical exfoliation as it can be rather aggressive on your skin. Well, first, it can potentially cause irritation, redness and dryness, especially if you have sensitive skin. If that's your case, look for products that contain soothing ingredients at the same time and I would say go heavier on your moisturizer. Second, chemical exfoliation can make your skin more susceptible to sun damage. So it's important for you to use sunscreen religiously. Overall though, I mean, I have to tell you the benefits of chemical exfoliation outweigh the risk, making it, you know, effective um, if you want to achieve like a, this radiant, beautiful, glowy complexion. Both types of exfoliants have their own benefits and drawbacks, so it's really a matter of personal preference. 
and what works for your own unique skin when it comes to choosing which one to use. So you know your skin, you get to choose. Oh, and I have to, uh, sorry, I have to tell you this. If you have darker skin, don't go aggressive, right? Like aggressive forms of exfoliation can leave your skin with dark spots. So you should avoid them. In any case, whichever type of exfoliant you choose, be sure to use it sparingly. At first, until you know you are, you know that your skin is okay with the type of exfoliant you have chosen. Make sense? By the way, darling, to find out which skin acid is best suited for your unique skin type, there is a, uh, a click. No, there's not a click. There is a link in the description box. You can go there and you can take the quiz and you're going to find out. This is what I would say. Exfoliate often, but start out slowly and increase the frequency as your skin gets used to it and never overdo it, never. Uh, probably around twice a week should be okay. Um, three times if you are using, you know, soft uh, chemical exfoliants and if you are seeing that your skin can handle it. If you choose a scrub, apply it, um, you know, using small circular um, motions and do it for around 30 seconds before rinsing it off with look warm water. Do not use hot water. If you are using a brush or a washcloth or a sponge, just, you know, short, like, um, light, short, light strokes, it will do okay. You know, don't overdo it. Don't do what I do, that I forget to uh, exfoliate my legs. And when I do it, I overdo it. Don't do that. All right, so now we need to talk about aftercare. It's super important to moisturize afterward. Your skin will be extra sensitive post exfoliation, so it needs some TLC. This will help, uh, you know, this will help you replenish moisture, your moisture levels, and prevent dryness and irritation. Secondly, if you are doing something else, be sure to use a gentle cleanser after exfoliating to avoid, you know, redness and inflammation. And of course, be sure to apply that sunscreen. This should be part of any healthy skincare routine anyway, you know it. Finally, avoid using any other products like, um, you know, retinol or any other acids, right? You know, like immediately after exfoliating, just to give your skin time to recover from the exfoliating process and, you know, be gentle on your skin after exfoliating. By following these simple tips, you can ensure that your skin stays healthy and happy after a good exfoliating um, uh, session. And that's all there is to it. Now go forth and get glowing.